Hello everyone, my name is Amanda and today's tutorial is all about creating the half double crochet stitch. This video is part 3 of my how to crochet beginner series. If you missed parts 1 and 2, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go check out those videos first. The materials I'm going to be using today are this Lily Sugar and Cream 100% cotton yarn in hot purple. The crochet hook I'm going to be using is this Clover Amour 5mm hook. Let's get started. Before we can begin the half double crochet, we first need to create a slip knot and chain 10. If you don't know how to create these techniques yet, I created a detailed demonstration in my previous video, so I'll leave a link to that down below. Now we're ready to begin the half double crochet. To create this stitch, we're going to be working in the third chain from our hook, which is this stitch right here. To create the half double crochet, what we're going to do is take our yarn, and yarn over before we put our hook into the stitch. Next, we're going to take our hook and insert it into that top loop in the third stitch from our hook. We should now have three loops on our hook. We're then going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. You have just created your first half double crochet. Again, let's repeat that process into our next stitch. We're going to yarn over our hook, insert our hook into the top loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three of those loops. Next stitch, again, we're going to yarn over, put our hook through that top loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. We've now created three half double crochets because we chained 10 and then skipped the first two stitches. This first row should have eight stitches by the end of the row. Continuing on, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. We're halfway across the row now. We're going to do the next stitch. We're going to yarn over, put our hook through that top loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Three more stitches to go. We're going to yarn over, put our hook through that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. The half double crochet is one of the three most basic stitches, which of course are the single crochet, the half double crochet, and the double crochet. These three stitches are the most common stitches you will see when learning to crochet. We're now at the end of row one where we should have eight half double crochets. To count your stitches, I often look at the top of the row where you can count here. We've got two, four, six, eight stitches. At the end of the row, we're going to chain two and then turn our work towards us. So here we go, chain one, chain two, and then flip our work towards us. You have to make sure when working that you work into the top of the stitch and not the side of the stitch here. To begin row two, we're going to be working into the third stitch from our hook. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Next stitch, yarn over, hook through, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Repeat this process across the row and I'll meet you at the end. We're now at the final stitch of row two. We're going to do the same process by yarning over, inserting our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those three loops. Again, we're going to chain two and turn our work to begin row three. So we're going to chain one, chain two, and flip our work towards us. 
Now we're ready to start row three. To really get a hang of the half double crochet, I recommend that you continue working for three more rows. I'm going to do the same so you can see what it looks like after you've completed your fifth row. All right guys, here we have five rows of the half double crochet stitch. I just want to remind you to make sure you count how many stitches are at the end of each row. If you were following along correctly, you should have eight stitches at the end of each row. If you feel like you don't quite have a hang of the half double crochet, please continue on for a few more rows to really get your practice in. And that's the end of this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new content, and I'll see you in the next one.